Hello everyone, welcome to today's Sunday School lesson. Today we're going to learn about how God sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for Jesus' birth. This is from Luke chapter 1. Let's start off with the word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today where we can come together and learn about your word. We pray that we have a good time and that we, we learn something today and we look forward to Christmas, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's go into praise and worship. So let's review what we learned last week. <clears throat> so last week we learned from Exodus chapter 32 about how God punished Israel's idolatry. So if you remember, Moses was up on Mount Sinai and during this time, the people of Israel didn't know whether or not he was gonna come back. And so they asked Aaron, Moses' brother, if he could make a God for them so that they could worship. And he made them a golden calf, which is a baby cow out of gold jewelry. And so when Moses came down the mountain, 
with the Ten Commandments, he saw that the people of Israel were laughing and singing and having fun, worshiping something that wasn't God, an idol. So he was very upset and he broke the stone, he broke the golden calf and he broke the stone tablets because he was so upset. And so because of that, the, um, he punished the, God punished the people of Israel by asking Moses to kill all those that uh, sinned against him. So now let's go into this week's lesson about Zachariah and Elizabeth, the parents of John the Baptist. So who are these two people? Well, they are from the family of priests. So if you remember Aaron, the brother of Moses, he was the very first priest of Israel and all his children, they then became the priests of Israel. And so Zachariah and Elizabeth both came from Aaron. And so they served God really faithfully, but they were really old and they didn't have any children. And they always prayed to God for children, but they never had children. So one day, it was Zachariah's turn to serve in the temple of God. So you remember before we learned that in the desert, the Israelites had the tabernacle. And in the tabernacle, there was the holy place where there was an altar of incense where the priests would burn incense. And so now the Israelites have the temple in Jerusalem, which King Solomon built. And Zechariah, it was his turn to go to the holy place in the temple to burn incense. And so when he was doing this, the angel Gabriel appeared to him. And he was very frightened because for the past 400 years, God hadn't spoken to the people of Israel. The angel Gabriel said to Zechariah that you will have a son and that he will be a special messenger that will come before the Messiah to proclaim the way of the Messiah. But Zechariah asked the angel, how can I have a child? I'm so old. Me and Elizabeth, we're so old. How can we have children? And so the angel Gabriel told him, because you did not believe my message, you will become mute, which means that you cannot speak until the day that he is born. And so the people of Israel, they were waiting outside for Zechariah the priest to come outside because burning incense doesn't take that long. And they were wondering what's taking him so long. And so when he came out, he couldn't say anything because the angel made him mute. And so he would have to gesture with his hands and write things on, on, on something to communicate with people. And so everyone was amazed that he must have seen a vision when he was in the temple. And so what the angel, angel Gabriel said came true. And Zachariah and Elizabeth, they had a son. And so everyone asked him, what are you going to name his son? And so Zechariah remembered what the angel Gabriel said. And he wrote on a, a tablet and said, his name is John. And right then, his ability to speak came back. And everyone was really amazed because a miracle just happened. And so John became who we know now as John the Baptist. And he was the one that he lived in the wilderness. He ate locusts, which are kind of like, uh, they look like grasshoppers, and uh, honey, uh, wild honey. And he wore really rough clothes made out of camel's hair. And he would be in the wilderness preaching to the people of Israel, repent for the Lord is coming. And so that is John the Baptist. And he's really important because later on, he's going to baptize Jesus. And that's how he got his name, John the Baptist. So let's pray for today's Sunday School lesson. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us about your word today. Thank you for teaching us about John the Baptist, who you proclaimed would come before Jesus and prepare the way for him. Dear Heavenly Father, Christmas is coming up in two weeks, and we thank you for sending your son Jesus to this earth. Because he died for our sins on the cross, whoever believes in him can have eternal life and forgiveness of sin. We pray that you keep everyone safe and healthy this upcoming week. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everyone, that's it for this week's Sunday School lesson.
Everyone stay safe and healthy.